Good morning, fifth grade. We are ready for math lesson 157. We're going to start off with a few concept cards this morning, starting with temperature and then going into our formulas. So let's get started. What is the temperature for the freezing point of water Fahrenheit? 32 degrees. Normal body temperature Fahrenheit? 98.6 degrees. Normal body temperature Celsius? 37 degrees. Freezing point of water Celsius? 0 degrees. Boiling point of water Celsius? 100 degrees. Boiling point of water Fahrenheit? 212 degrees. What's the formula for converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit? F equals 9 over 5 times C plus 32. And from Fahrenheit to Celsius. C equals 5 over 9 times, in parentheses, F minus 32. What is the formula for finding the area of a rectangle? A equals length times width. What about the perimeter of a rectangle? Good job if you are saying these. Just stay with me here and give the answers. The perimeter of a rectangle. P equals, in parentheses, 2 times L plus, in parentheses, 2 times W. <clears throat> the perimeter of a square. P equals 4 times S and the area of a square. A equals S times S. So in our lesson today, we're talking about rounding off mixed numbers. So first of all, let's think about the fraction 3 and 3 fourths. I have a yardstick here, and hopefully you can see this when I hold it closer. So if we look on this yardstick at the fraction 3 and 3 fourths, is that fraction, it would be this line right here, Sorry, this one right here. Is this fraction closer to 3 or closer to 4? Which one? 3 and 3 fourths is closer to 4. Okay, so talking about rounding fractions, when we are rounding fractions, if the fraction is closer to the next higher number, closer to 4, then you're going to make your whole number one number higher. So instead of 3 and 3 fourths, if you're rounding that, since 3 fourths is closer to 4, you're going to make your whole number 4 and drop your fraction. Now, if you have a fraction like 3 and 1 fourth, if you look at 3 and 1 fourth, that is right here, that's closer to 3 than to 4. So you're going to drop your fraction and keep your whole number a 3. Okay, now I just talked about the fraction 3 and 3 fourths and the fraction 3 and 1 fourth. So as you can see, we know that mixed numbers consist of whole numbers and fractions. So these are mixed numbers. And when we talk about rounding them, we round them, as I just said, by if this is closer to the next whole number, we're going to make this greater. Make this a 4 and drop the fraction. If this is closer to the lower number than to the next whole number, then you just drop it and leave that whole number the same. So let's look at some more fractions that I have on the board. I have 3 and 2 thirds. Now would that fraction be closer to 3 or closer to 4? If you would Make a circle with three parts in it and two are shaded. Would more of it be shaded or than is not shaded or would more not be shaded than is shaded? You can try it by just quickly. Okay, so as you can see, more than half of that is shaded, right? So this fraction, to round this fraction, we're going to make this number one number higher, make it a 4, 
and then drop the fraction. What about nine and one fifth? Is that closer to nine or closer to 10? It is closer to nine. One fifth is less than one half. So if the fraction is less than one half, it means it's closer to the lower number. If it's more than one half, it's closer to the higher number, right? That kind of makes sense. Okay, so because this is closer to nine, we're going to drop the fraction and just leave our whole number a nine. Now what about 11 and 3 7th? Is that closer, is that, is 3 7th less than one half or more than one half? Three seventh would be less than one half. So we're going to drop the fraction and leave our whole number 11, okay? And some of these you might have to think through if the fraction actually is greater than one half or less than one half. And you can do um, what I said about drawing a circle and making as many parts as your denominator and filling in the number of your numerator, like this for example. Let's just look at this one, eight and three fifths. So let's make a, an example here of our fraction three fifths. So see if I can make five equal parts here and shade in three of them. So there we can see that this is greater than one half because more than one half of that is shaded. I didn't make them perfectly equal, but three fifths is more than one half. So we're going to make our whole number the next number higher, make the whole number a nine, and drop the fraction, okay? So, to round a mixed number to a whole number, drop the fraction if it is less than one half, and if the fraction is greater than one half, or if the fraction is one half, you're going to drop the fraction and add one to the whole number. So if we would be rounding three and one half, you would also then make your whole number a four and drop the fraction, okay? So one half or greater is when you round it up to the next whole number. They have a couple uh, lines at the top of the page in your book where they have some fractions, kind of like a ruler, um, but it's just on the line in your book. And you can see that um, they have one fourth, one half, Three fourths, you can see that one fourth is closer to the lower whole number, and three fourths is closer to the greater whole number. And then they show a line with one fifth, two fifth, one half, three fifth, four fifth, and you can see that one fifth and two fifth are less than one half, three fifth and four fifth are greater than one half. So in your lesson, you're going to have to uh, work with saying if the fractions are more then one half or less and round your mixed numbers to the nearest whole number. Work your lesson carefully. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in language class.